Oh, I just had a bite there. Oh, fish on. Yeah, there you go, right under that rock. Bang. Good afternoon and welcome back to another fishing adventure. It's a rough afternoon here in Jersey, really is. I've just been to a little spot on the way here, had one little schoolie. Oh, fish on. Yes, first fish of the sesh. Just a little hot dog. Can't go wrong, beats the blank. Wasn't really feeling it, so I thought I'd make the 10 minute drive, make the move and hit this little mark that I'm gonna be at now for the last hour of light. We're moving right into autumn now, very quickly. I feel like the days are just going quicker than they usually do. The nights are drawing in. I think the, the sunset's at quarter past six now. So yeah, pretty rough. Don't really get much time after work. So I've set out, finished work, hit one spot for 10, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. Had one little school, he wasn't feeling it. Drove around the corner and headed to someone else. Now the tide's on the rise. I've got to be a little bit careful here but we've got a strong southerly wind driving through. So uh, we're gonna have a little bit of a crosswind in this particular area, which ain't gonna be too nice, but we're just gonna fish through it and hopefully we can get into something. That's the plan. I am gonna be careful because of the water coming through this gully. I was gonna go just there. I might get 25 minutes on there, but as you can see, the water is coming through quickly. Yeah, let's go over there. We're going to risk it for a biscuit. But keep an eye on the tide. Always good to make a track of where you're going to get across. This bit's quite high as well. Over there and up there. And then I won't get cut off. And I'll have probably a little bit longer than assumed on this little edge. Hopefully there's some fish in this area. Oh, that side wind's horrible. Man, you can see the run pushing through here. Hopefully there's some fish around. Let's go fishing. Water colour isn't the best. Crosswind's coming over. But hopefully I can latch onto something. You can see the tide is lit running from left to right here. It's pushing through. So my lure will be covering a lot more ground than a normal straight wind. Looks tasty in here. Hopefully there's some fish around. Here, yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. As always, I'm just covering as much ground as possible. There's so many rocks and heads in this area. Tide flowing over them, so... There could be a bass anywhere. There might not be a bass here at all. Just gotta watch that water coming behind me on that gully. When I'm casting, I'm reeling really quick just to make sure that my line's not bowed. You wanna have as much tension on your lure as possible, especially with this crosswind. There's gotta be a fish in this area. I might move to that point because there's some other heads over there as well. You see the tides ripping through here. Oh, fish on. There you go, there you go. Oh, I felt the tug of the tail. I don't think he's too big. I'll tell you in a minute, because it's in the run. He's running towards me. Small fish. There we go. Usually, you might see a fish following it up. Second fish, new mark. Only a schoolie again, but 
can't beat it the gold on that bass looks beautiful from the sun tiny fish though but you cannot complain if you've got a fish on that's hooked at the top of the mouth if you just turn it over like so and it would just drop off like a t-bar for a conga rainbow over there bass at the end of the rainbow right two fish can't be complaining hopefully there'll be another one around now you might have a place like this close to home little bit of run if the tide's too big like it is in jersey today it's not too big the water might run through here too quickly i don't want it to be too quick lose track of your lure but i felt that fish just nip the tail and then just swallow it up check out those bloody lovely rainbow 10 pounder right there 100 percent 10 pounder well i hope you can hear me because it's so windy as you can probably see the water is a little bit murky today each angler has preference to what they use when it's cloudy i like white white's the my go-to everyone is different you know i know lads that use pink but white is the color of choice i just have confidence that the bass are gonna take it or be able to see it or you know it just does something in my mind that goes poof put white on when it's cloudy but also you can put something like this on a really bright lure now i spoke in a podcast recently the bass lure fishing podcast and we spoke about bright lures and how they how they work how they mess with my head to be honest i'm not a a fan of coloured lures but I got passed on these and I wonder if they'll work in this kind of stuff now the tide here is pulling really quick and it's windy with a side wind so a 15 gram lure is probably not going to do it for me but it's food for four is that going to work and anyone watching these adventures I really want to know is a bright lure like this your go-to colour when the water is kind of murky Let's get back into the fishing. I'm gonna stick with the white lure for now. My thinking is white when it's a little bit murky. Hey ho, what is not gonna get any better with this wind at the moment? Going into autumn, it's, it's horrible, but that's fishing. Let's get back into it. Now looking at this mark, it might just look like a load of run. But do your homework. I know that there's a massive head out there, shallow reef running through this area. Some heads dotting about through here. Obviously you can see that one. You've got to think like a fish. Sometimes the bass will be running the show and they'll be everywhere. There'll be bait everywhere, they'll be chasing it, they'll be mixed up. But thinking like a fish, in my eyes, the fish are going to be in the holding areas. The slacker waters. Not every time, but the slack water behind the rocks where it eddies. Holding there, waiting for anything to pass over a rock, pass around it. Yeah, you get the point. So when you're going to a mark and you're looking to fish it, yours might not look exactly like this, you know? The features might be the same. You might have some run and some heads. I mean, use your noggin. Cast at those areas where you feel the fish are gonna be holding. In my eyes, the fish are gonna be behind the boulders, in and around them, waiting for fish to, or bait to move over them in these holding kind of areas. But a lot of the times, the fish will hit you right by your feet, where you've come past the head, for example, and then they followed you and then bang, they've taken your lure. I just had a bite there. Oh, fish on. Yeah, there you go, right under that rock. Bang. It's not big. But just like I was saying, the holding areas, that bass just came straight from underneath that little rock. He's not big at all. Bit of perfect example. Well, there we go. A perfect example of what I was just saying. 
I just targeted that little area because there's a little gully that runs between two rocks where the tide's moving through. This fish ain't big at all. Tiny. But he was holding in that area. He hit me once and then he came through again. I don't mind catching fish this big if I'm catching fish. There's not really anything around. I really do not mind. Look at the blues on those fins. Absolutely amazing. When the water starts to get a little bit colder, they start to show off these really blue fins. Absolutely amazing. Small fish, who cares? Proof in the pudding. Boom. How insane are the colours coming from the sky? The sun is behind us, reflecting off those clouds onto the sea. We've got these bronze aromas onto the onto the sea. I should be fishing now and not talking about how amazing the, the sea looks like. But for me, just being out here and enjoying the outdoors uh, really does it for me as well, to be honest. Absolutely stunning. Got that rainbow over there over northern France, and it's just pretty insane and then you go over there and then you've got the sun setting over the west of Jersey how beautiful is that well that's the session over wasn't the best but it was fun and that's what matters to me enjoyed myself caught some fish that's what fishing's about really isn't it obviously catching fish but having fun getting out enjoying the weather getting out, enjoying mother nature, rain or shine. She threw everything at me this afternoon. A few small fish, but I hope you learned something. That is the main thing of this video. Your areas might not be the same as mine, probably totally different. But here there's a little bit of run and there's some features like heads and weeds. As you've seen, the fish were quite close to the rocks and the heads. Right, till next time. Hope you enjoyed. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. More videos to come. It's getting to autumn. Good chance for really good fish, but I'm happy just catching fish. Let's go. Till next time. Peace.